Hey guys, it's Coach B. Wiley. I hope you're having a good week this week. Over the weekend, I got a chance to walk, watch Carisha Speaks, and there was a young man on there, and he's a rapper. And so it really gave me this idea for this video. By the way, I'm Coach B. Wiley, life coach. I do videos dating, relationship, breakup, communication. So if you're into that, feel free to subscribe. So, all right, on this video, it was a gentleman on there, and the energy I got from the young man was unsure of himself, yet he knows just the right things to say in order to manipulate a situation and put some sauce in it to really make a woman swoon and fall in love, perhaps, and desire him and i've come across guys like this before and this is just from what i saw from that video the energy of it and if you're in a situation to where you typically are attracting guys that just have all this charisma and all this charm and always the right things to say and you're falling for it and you're not getting the results that you desire whether that be a long-term committed relationship marriage or just consistency you need to be mindful of how some guys operate some guys are self-serving some guys will say anything in order to get their needs fulfilled and then some guys will act spiritually fake deep regularly fake deep woke just to get someone's attention for their own gain and whatever they're trying to do a lot of guys have these hidden agendas that you know nothing about until the joke has already been put on you and you've already given up whatever it is they were trying to take from you. So the moral of the story is, ladies, don't be so gullible. Don't be so green. Don't believe everything you hear because everything is not what it seems. If you feel like something is too good to be true, it probably is. So the best thing you could do is when you're meeting and entertaining guys, what you can do is, sure, you might feel yourself swooning, getting the hearts in your eyes, and feeling like, oh my gosh. However, I need for you to check yourself in that moment. And it is okay to like someone. It is okay to be attracted to someone. But it is not okay to be emotionally unintelligent, to be silly, to be naive, to be stupid. It's not okay. Now, we all have our moments. I had my moment. I just did a whole video about how green I was. I uploaded it on Sunday. We're not talking about that. We're talking about understanding the mindset and where you need to grow because of who you keep attracting. Who you keep attracting should be a direct sign of who you are. So if you're attracting people that want to use you, abuse you, lie, cheat, manipulate, take, then you're the problem because you're attracting that energy, you're, ent you're entertaining that energy, and you're allowing that kind of person to have easy access to you. So what your job is to recognize, okay, he's charming, but this seems a little bit too good to be true. So make that your dominant thought. This is too good to be true. So because I have that thought, I don't have that thought for no reason. And a lot of women will have thoughts that something isn't right. And then you just green light means go. And then that makes you put the, put the foot on the gas. And it's crazy that we operate like that. Not all of us, but some of us, it's crazy. So when you have that thought, that's contradiction to what you believe, like charming, but confusing, that's a, that's a conflict. So when you feel that conflict, when you have it in your mind, your spirit, your gut, let that be your dominant thought. So then the next time that you're together, pay attention. All you gotta do, girl, you ain't gotta sit up and ask him a thousand questions, but what you do need to do is listen when he talking. Cause typically, when a man has in these other these other goals and he has these ulterior motives for you, it's not gonna just be upfront and blunt. No, it's gonna slip out here, it's gonna slip out there. But your job is to take the rose colored glasses off and recognize it when it shows up. I'm telling you, it is a fact. A guy cannot cover up who he is 24 seven. Who he truly is, what his true intentions are, are going to come out. But, if you have these hearts in your eyes, you're not going to recognize it. And even if you see it, you're just going to be so oblivious to it that you're just going to be like, hmm. But then, oh, he done snapped you back into his world with the, with the, with, with the magic, <laughs> with the magic stick. So just do yourselves a favor and don't be 
misled by a someone that's misrepresenting themselves that's saying this but then when you ask them a direct question and this 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 is the main thing when it comes to guys that are full of it and are just coming in to take break and put you back they they have a hard time with answering direct questions for example i was watching something on tv the show and this young lady asked this guy a direct question about if he was dating a, a certain someone. He literally asked, she literally asked him, are you dating X, Y, and Z? He then says, well, what does it look like? What does it look like to you? Does it look like I'm doing this? Does it look like I'm doing that? Does it look like I'm really slamming her around in the bedroom? What do you think? That is manipulation. That is deflection. That is a red flag. That is a bull crapper. Don't be bull crap by these dudes. I'm telling you. And if you don't want to listen, you're going to continue to get dogged out and played and misled by these guys. So do yourself a favor and don't be fooled by what he's saying. Listen to his actions. Pay attention when he's just freely talking. Because typically guys that are full of it, they'll, free, they'll freely talk because a lot of them like the sound of their own voice, so let them freely talk. And a lot of women, we like to run our mouth, run our mouth, run our mouth, run our mouth because we're excited. We're excited to be on a date. We're excited about new possible love. We're just excited about this guy. But I want you to do yourself a favor and do more listening and watching than you've ever done before. And you're gonna see this guy slip up. You're gonna see him show you for who he is. And you're gonna see him saying one thing and totally contradicting what, what he's trying to do to you. He's saying to you, let's go to Bible study. But then after Bible study, he's rubbing on your thigh. Like, sir, what's really good in the hood? So that's it for today. It was just a quick video. Just, I don't even know the name of this video. But girls, women, ladies, get it together and recognize real from the fraud out here. Okay? All right, I'm Coach B. Wiley. If you want to follow me, feel free to do so. Subscribe as well. Coach B. Wiley on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. If you want shorter videos, like up to three minutes, I typically do about a one or two minute video on TikTok every day, sometimes twice a day. So if you'd like to see just a quick video versus a longer stretched out video like this one, then feel free to follow me on TikTok. If you want to ask me a question for me to answer on Ask Me Wiley, feel free to go to all of my all my social media and or you can go to Cura.com, Q-U-O-R-A, search B Wiley on Cura, B Wiley and ask me your dating and relationship question because you know I cover dating, relationship, breakup, and relationship, let me be clear. When I say relationships, that doesn't just mean romantic. Romantic, I mean your relationship with your children. I have videos on that. Uh, your relationships with your peers, coworkers, business relationships, of course, your friendships, your BFF, the dude you with, the dude you're dating. Just relation, I'm just under the relationship umbrella, not specifically romantically speaking, okay? Understand that? Thank you. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.